Hi everyone, Jerome Wright here again. Um, I'm bringing you yet another video. Okay, for those of you that are just joining me, please see my other videos, which are up in the numbers, I think, of about 60 now. I promise you nothing but very interesting information, need to know information that are contained there in all of my videos. And um, as I um, become more and more drawn into my experience and my encounter through my paranormal experience that I've actually had, um, my videos are becoming more intense. Okay? Um, I'm tearing away, at, in these videos, I'm tearing away at the very fabric of reality as you know it, across the board, in so much as far as religion, science, um, you name it, I'm there. Um, we're even in space with my videos, okay? So therefore, if you're following me or just joining me, please see all of my videos. Um, support is in numbers, okay? The views. Um, also, people, I need for you to take, um, if you like what you see, I mean, even if you don't like what you see, forward my videos to your friends, to your families, um, to your physics teachers, to your science teachers if you're in college. Um, um, to your deans, anybody that, that you might would think that would be interested in this information. I need to be global. Okay, I want these, I want these videos to go viral. Okay, um, we got Noah's Ark here. Okay, the myth of Noah and the great floods have always mystified the people of our world. Um, I'm honored to say, and should I say, that Noah's Ark falls wayside to my discoveries, okay? Um, just as in anything else, anything dealing with the historical moments of biblical times, I can reach in and attach it to my discoveries in a way that is factual and irrefutable. No one, no one can touch once I put my mark on it, it's, it's a wrap. No one can undo that of what I attach my discoveries to, okay? So, um, I challenge anyone to do so, meaning something, not no layperson, of course, somebody um, scientific or a scholar, but I would like to do it in a, in a, in, in, in a public arena, though, meaning media, forum or uh, so much uh, like that there. Nothing online or anything where well, I'm not getting anywhere of making of making my argument, okay? So people, if you have somebody that's, that's willing to challenge and we can go public with it, I mean, I welcome that as well too. Anything that it help, actually helped me cross that threshold of becoming famous for these videos that I'm actually putting so much into uh, making and, and bringing to you. All right, I'm going to start off with this, this image. First of all, I have to do this, okay, because the story of Noah, I can remember it in school, and um, I was in music class, and, and I think that um, we, were, um, we were singing some of those, those songs, and, and the parts that I can remember, and I'm, and I'm going to do that here, is that um, I was anxious to do this, by the way. Is um, I can remember seeing the hippopotamus and the kangaroos right there, right? And I can remember just that part of uh, singing. And, um, and, and, and the song goes in so much far as like this here. Um, in come the animals two by two, the hippopotamuses and the kangaroos. And uh, I just wanted to add that in there. Just I mean, nothing to do with my discoveries, people. It's just something that actually was sparked and resonated with me when I was a child. And actually, it's, it's, um, it's here now and seeing these animals. However, again, I'm here. I'm going to decode this image for you people and for what it actually is. First of all, the, there was never a great flood in the sense that we thought that it was. A lot of you people that are out there now looking for Noah's Ark, got global satellite positioning um, um, systems looking for Noah's Ark on the ground, and, and a lot of people that have had their, out there wasting your life away, researching the history of Noah's Ark. Stop wasting your time. Okay? I found Noah's Ark. I found, Jerome Wright found Noah's Ark. That's right, Jerome Wright has found Noah's Ark. So stop wasting your time, 
okay? And um, we'll go from there. First of all, there was never no Noah's Ark, okay? That's right, there was never a Noah's Ark. And there was never no great flood in the sense of it being that of what it was led to have you believe, meaning a great flood of water. All right. First of all, the great flood was, in the sense, used, the language was used in the Bible for that of, to tell you, the great flood was the altering of genetics. The gathering and the genetic manipulation and bridging and altering of genetics. So, the great flood was actually, I'm changing the name. The historical moment, the great flood, I'm changing the name to the great manipula manipulation of and altering of genetics. First of all, let's see the let's see the arc. I'm gonna come to the image for you, people. Alright. Let's see the let's see this image for what it is, first of all. Noah's Ark. I'm taking y'all to school, by the way. All right, so y'all hang in there with me. Noah's Ark, let's see it for what it truly is. First of all, Noah's Ark, I'm tracing over the Ark. I should have got a bigger pencil here. All right, I just traced over the Ark there. Okay, Noah's Ark is actually the cauldron. The cauldron is spelled C-A-U-L-D-R-O-N. The cauldron. What is a cauldron? I've just put handles on it too, people, by the way, in case of y'all didn't know. The cauldron is a cooking pot which is used in witchcraft and pagan worship. See that? These stilts that are actually rip keeping the the ship Stabilized these little stabilizers while it's supposed to be on land are actually that of the legs of the cauldron, which are shown here. See these pots, these kettles right here? Cauldrons. Remember back in the day, remember seeing how the witches um, used to be standing over top of them and, <laughs> and they're making a witch's brew? See that pop there, people? That's what Noah's Ark represents. A genetic altering, a gathering of all of the above, these creatures, including Noah, and a genetic altering of genetics. Splicing, bridging, and manipulation. That's what this is about. There was never a great flood. The only great flood that was happening here is that these genetics were being altered and manipulated on a mass scale the idea of the flood the scenario of the flood was for you and those that didn't know any better on how to comprehend what was actually going on but for those that have the secret ancient knowledge as to what this is referencing this is recorded information for them and now that it is yours, because I'm giving it to you. Okay. Now, there's the cauldron. I gave you the cauldron here. The legs of the cauldron. That's Noah's Ark. I'm going to bring up another image of Noah's Ark. Okay. That's one. Keep that in mind, people. The cauldron. Here's another image of Noah's Ark. Is that in there? Yes, that's pretty much in there. Um, um, the best is always saved for last two people, so hang in there with me. And it gets better as it goes. 
Again, Noah's Ark. Notice the trees are always, even in the Christopher Columbus video that I did, anytime you see the trees crossing like that and connecting to cloud matter up in the skies, it represents the genetic branching and cross-referencing of genetics okay and you will notice that it's branching off there's a branch going off here attaching into Noah's ship there and over here you'll see a branch coming off okay now on that side let me see if I can get over there well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw with my left hand on this side over here oh gosh encrypted in the likenesses of the tree shrubbery right here as it is always is there's my witch like woman whom I dub as the mother of creation okay now it gets better people so just hang in there with me okay she's right there so what is she's doing right there encrypted in this colorful image here well she's shown with the snake as was Jesus I just did in my Minerva Hall video where Jesus was emerging from that of the body of the snake now what kind of snake is this remember when I told you that the pine cone image in one of my videos represented the tail of the rattler well the way that this is colorfully encrypted in you have the body of that of a snake which is actually look looking like it was a support strap of the ship but it's actually the body of a snake and the face of a witch like woman right there can you see that people yes I think you can okay uh, can I bring it in closer anyway all of these images are readily able you can google them and it shows you the cross-referencing which is always utilized to in somewhat in the tree shows you the cross-referencing of genetics from the animals look from the road of the animals cross-referencing people and how it's taken in at these different levels and it shows you exactly what's going on and brought into the ship genetic bridging people you see that genetic bridging that's what this is all about the cauldron let's put the handles on my cauldron here my witch's brew see that my witch's kettle you see that look at this people how can I do that there's my witch's there's my I gave you my witch's kettle look at this look at this people remember that image look there's my witch's kettle my cauldron okay the melting pot the cooking pot and then I bring you down in another image and long and behold coincidentally if you want to believe that I give you a witch I give you a snake I give you um, creatures genetics I give you cross referencing thereof showing you how there was um, this they evolved from the celestial masses that I've actually just already gave you videos on that actually it covers the body of space which brings that in it shows you a cross referencing of space and earth and the genetics thereof and how they're being ran back into this which is there's the witch right here mother of creation encrypted there's a snake okay and it shows you how and here's the cold drink cup her brewing kettle and how all of these genetics are being mixed in her in a, in a cocktail in a, in a stew of these altering these manipulators these genetic bridgings and that's what this is all about so I always promise you the best for last okay so I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna bring you
Another image. An earlier image. Because once... Now, these are the later images. So, they are more difficult to understand and see. But, however, you got to admit that I'm pressing the hell out of you with these... With just these images that barely show you anything or tell you anything. But, now I'm going to show you how... I'm going to wrap it up with how when the images... When they're... When they're later meaning near our time, near modern times, it's more difficult to see what it is. But, however, seeing my explanation or hearing my explanation, you're kind of on me now and following me. Well, not just that because of all my other videos I have out too. So, it's like everything is um, is gospel when I'm saying it now. And anyway, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, but anyway. Now, I want to show you something. Here's an older image. And by the way, people, I didn't even bother at this point to, um, to, to, to look up the artists on these. If you want to Google the images, I'm sure you can. But at this point, all I'm doing is I'm showing you what I, what I have and what there is. Now, here's an image you can Google. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me make this come back. So. This is called the building of the ark. Okay. And I might have to bring that down. So. This is called the building of the ark, people. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And this is hanging there with me because this is going to get real good here, people. This is this is the best this is the best image right here. This is going to get real good for you. Real real good. I promise you that this I'm going to move you out your seat on this. You're going to get to, you're going to run to your phone, you're going to run to your you're going to run to somebody, you're going to tell somebody about this. You're going to say this guy here is, is amazing. All right. First of all, notice that this is called the building of the ark. See, see, um, um, Noah there, I guess, looking up towards the angel, and then you have the the um, the guy in the armor there with the with the mallet with the wooden mallet up. Then you have the guy over here in the red dress, showing him with his axe on the boat. Okay, now remember that I'm saying that all of this represents genetic. Um, Altering and splicing and and bridging, right? Okay, good. So you're with me on that. Okay, good. Now check this out, people. First of all, notice that this guy over here is seemingly naked. There he is there. But what's amazing about this is that this part of the boat right here okay that's actually coming out they almost have it set up where the point of the boat is actually going in to to this guy's crotch area to make it look like a penis okay now just forget all about all of that i'm gonna let i'm gonna let that go because that's just not the case but it just caught my attention anyway okay and notice that he's pouring these this 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 um this um this fluid into the cup now notice the axe there notice the axe and it makes one would think why would an axe be on a boat first of all keep that in mind because what I'm telling you is that this represents genetic splicing and this is implying between that of the boat this guy here that's standing the, the fluids that he's point, uh, pouring now these axes I found out through Salvador Dali's paintings that they were utilized to implicate that of genetic splicing wherever you actually had seen um, 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 these encryptions okay so but look at this people now you know that this does not make no sense first of all for this guy to have no axe on the ship in this position right here it just doesn't make no sense alright so it's letting you know that Noah's Ark is being genetically spliced first of all there's 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 this little small boat here letting you know that that represents genetic splicing and I'm telling you that it's telling you it's genetic splicing between the boat and this figure as well here but check this out then we come over here look at the little dog figure here that's there and there's this little ear and there's a little eye right there and again 
you have the acts here again referencing that I'm telling you genetic splicing can you see that people yeah another axe over here now here's the guy with the rubber mallet I mean with the wooden mallet okay and showing you that he's hitting on this object here which one might would believe that when you're probably saying well they're making wood planks from a tree stump or a tree and they're creating a boat from this stump okay is that reasonable to believe but how about if I showed you that that was not the case then I would be the man I guess right if I showed you that that is not a tree or wood or a tree stump but yet the ancient genetics of what all men evolved from then this axe, that axe, and these individuals shown depicted would actually be in a scenario that I suggested. Genetic splicing, genetic manipulation, genetic altering, and genetic bridging, right? How about if I just go ahead with no further ado and I'll do that. I'll show you. Now we have a boat, an ark. And I showed you the other pictures, the images of all of those animals at the ark. And I told you that it was genetic manipulation, genetic altering, and genetic bridging, and, and, and the whole nine, okay? So, let's take this. People, this is an eight. This is an eight. An eight. The beginning of man. Now, look at this image. This is a Renaissance image, people. No one had no business knowing about this back in then. I don't know how old this image is, but based on my assessment of other images, let's say this is probably maybe like, maybe, uh, what, early 1300s maybe? Okay, I didn't do my research on this image, but I do know what is what it is and what it's saying and what it's suggesting. Okay, now let's say 1300s. What in the world is this being known? Maybe even earlier. People it might be 12th century. What in the world is they knowing about genetic splicing? There's the axis of an ape. Oh, you probably said, well, Jerome, I don't see no ape there. You, you're, you're stretching this. All right. Let me give you the ape. Let me give you the ape. Here's the ape right here. I just turned the image sideways. Can you see the ape? This is what's in these paintings, people. Can you see the ape there now, people? Huh? Sure you can. You don't see that ape? Oh my gosh, come on now, people. I know y'all see that ape. This is the back of the ape right here the genetic splicing the axe is at here's the apes buttocks in there the apes leg is shown amputated by the axe which is right here showing you genetic splicing here's the apes right leg here there's the crack of the butt all up in there. Look at that, people. Here's the ape's right arm, shoulder, right there. And all of the body positioning, even the wrinkles in all of the body, people, are all shown. Look at the ape. And it even shows you, people, the ape's head, barely visible, right there, even over the eyebrows, the definitions of the eyes, the eyebrows and the ape's whole face is right there, people, in the image. The ape is bent over on all fours, minus a partial leg, because it shows you that it was genetically spliced. And look at this, people, what it was genetically spliced with is showing you a dog. Ape, dog. The axe represents genetically spliced. This is referenced in a lot of the Renaissance artists' artworks, in the Peruvian burial stones that was found over in Peru, 
the axis, these genetic splicings, it shows it with dinosaurs. It shows it with reptiles and so much as far as um, hippopotamuses, um, crocodiles, alligators. These references are being made. These genetic splicings and genetic alterings, people, have been going on since the beginning of time. And this is what our creation is all about. We have been being altered from the beginning, people, all along. And this is what Christianity is all about. It's about, you see the angel up there, don't you? The cross means the cross referencing of genetics. That's what the cross means, people. The cross referencing of genetics. And there is not one artist that is not guilty of having these encryptions in their artworks. If they're famous, then they had, they're famous for this, for their knowledge, their higher knowledge of understanding what I am now teaching you to understand. That it is all about the cross-referencing of genetics. And that's what it's about. Did you enjoy this? I hope you did. Because regardless of whether you like it or not, I'm going to become famous for it. Because I'm showing you why you came into existence. And you should be happy. And the reason why is because knowing who you are, what you came for, I mean, came from, opens up all the other possibilities of why you never understood the way you, yourself the way you're supposed to understand yourself in the first place. Knowing who you are is a great satisfaction. And knowing where you're going, knowing where you can go, who you are, and where you came from, and why you behave the way you do, why you have certain characteristics about your body, why your nose is so big, why your hair is 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 um is brown, why your hair is black, why your hair is coarse, why your hair is thin, why your hair is falling out, why you're going bald. I mean, all of these things, people, are answered by knowing this information these people were privy to knowing that information and to what extent are they genetically manipulating us today you're taking bread from communion from the Vatican today and they're talking about the body of Jesus well the body of Jesus is based on that of being reptilian and genetic alterings so that means that that wine and that communion that piece of bread that you're getting you're getting put, more genetics put back into you and you're being genetically bridged all over again now if you knew that that was the case would you be taking that and putting it in your mouth if you were taking the blood or or, 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 or the secretions of something from somebody else would you be hell no you wouldn't be putting it in your mouth I answer that for you unless you were stupid well people this is a awakening call Google these images. I just actually took and broke down Noah's Ark to you. There was no great flood ever. People have given their lives to go, trying to understand that. And in just less than a half an hour in, 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 in a video and three Renaissance artist paintings, I've shown you that I've discovered Noah's Ark. I've discovered Noah's Ark. There was never no great flood. And there was never no ark. The great flood is that of the great manipulation process of these genetics that they manipulated. And it's referencing a historical moment in time that there was a mass scale of alter, genetic alterings going on. And these biblical figures were at the helm of it. That's all, of, that's all it's referencing. A chemistry. A pagan worship, a cult-like ritual, based on something that's being shown to you that you should have already known already. A witch's melting pot, where a cocktail of genetics were brought in, genetically bridged, genetically bridged into this melting pot, and then redistributed it back out into the world. And this is what Noah's Ark is all about. It never was about a flood. Yep. The manip genetic manipulation on a mass scale. 
That's your flood, people. Okay? That's your flood. Cross-referencing of genetics. I'm going to end this video. My name is Jerome Wright. If you haven't seen all my videos, I think you should.